I got a new software update last night that has some very nice uh, enhancements to autopilot. Uh, currently going to test out this one where the car no longer requires you to initiate the suggested lane change. The car will transition from Navigate lane to lane, to and interstate to interstate, all on its own, without any input from the driver. So let's see what happens here. We're going to go do a trip out to O'Hare and back and see if the car does the entire thing transitioning from three different interstates. The software does now recognize red lights. It won't stop at the light, but it's supposed to give you a warning if you come up to faster red lights. So here we're checking it out, red light, but I do not get a warning. Okay, we're here on I-90-94 headed to O'Hare. Here's my first tone that there's going to be a lane change into the left lane. The signal turns itself on. And the car makes the transition all by itself to the next lane and shuts the signal off. I have the uh, autopilot set at 65 miles an hour and speed limit is 55. I have it set at 65 because I want to see how it passes other vehicles as it comes up behind a slower vehicle. And uh, it does that also. Okay, the car is now transitioning to the next lane on the left as we head over to I-90. Uh, the roads are going to split up here. The interstate is going to, I-94 is going to go north and I-90 is going to go west. And it's now telling me we're going over uh, one more lane at this point. You see the sign up ahead for I-90 towards O'Hare. It's these two lanes where the car is getting set up to make the transition at the junction. car is now going to the left lane to pass the slower vehicles in front of me because I have the speed set at 65. It did that flawlessly. We're here in the far left lane and we're coming up to I-190 where we're going to have to go off to the right to get to the airport. So the car is going to start making it move over in order to ramp off on I-190. It's recognizing the car next to me that's showing up in red, wants to turn, but it's going to let that car clear before it makes the move to the right. So there's another car, you see it, the red vehicle on the screen. So the car is waiting to get the all clear before it moves over there. It's clear, moved over on its own. Pretty amazing how it's monitoring all the vehicles around it. Okay, it's telling me it's going to go over one more lane. Signal's on. Transition's all by itself. At this point, I've literally just been watching the car do its own thing. It's telling me we're in a construction zone that autopilot could be limited. It's doing fine at this point in the construction zone. Okay, we're coming up to I-190 here. The car is all set up. Make the switch on interstates. Here it is, it's happening right now. All happening very smoothly. It just transitioned from I-90 west to I-190 west through a construction zone. Pretty amazing. This car has come all this way on its own. The car was flawless driving from Armitage Avenue out to O'Hare. We're now headed back to Armitage Avenue. Just wanted to show you how the autopilot recognizes a speed limit in the construction zone. The speed limit is 45 in this construction zone. Um, it's, I have the speed limit currently set at 65 in autopilot and it's showing 55 and a thing, but it recognizes that it is a construction zone, and that's kind of cool how I figured that out. Um, so it's now starting to go back up to speed because we are now out of the construction zone. Here's a clip where the car wants to 
go to the left lane to get around the slower car in front of me, and it saw this Jeep come zipping up. I saw it in the mirror. It's going quite a bit faster than I was, but the car recognized it and let it go by before it made the transition by itself into the left lane to get around the slower vehicles. Uh, all in all, uh, absolutely amazing how this car can drive itself from one interstate to the next without any human interaction. I was just watching it all happen.